Ohio reported more than 1,000 new coronavirus cases today and one of the biggest jumps since the pandemic started. And some are starting to worry. All these cases will lead to another shutdown of non-essential businesses. News 5's Tanisha Cordell spoke with one business owner who says she will not survive another closure. Since March, Flight Cleveland has been maintaining business through carry out wine sales, but it's been tough. Those sales barely making ends meet during the shutdown, but now they're fully back up and running, hoping it lasts. We opened uh, with gusto. People were really excited about um, having a wine shop and bar in this neighborhood. Reopening Wednesday brought back a feeling Lindsay Smith says she felt when she first opened Flight Cleveland two years ago. It feels good to invite our customers who've been so supportive um, during the past three and a half months to come in and let us pour you a glass of wine. Her customers happy to be back along with her employees who were furloughed because of the coronavirus pandemic. I had spent the past month and a half like really, really considering every possibility and every everything that we could possibly do to make sure that our experience for people is fun and relaxed and all the things that we are at Flight Cleveland, but also um, safe and um, comfortable. And still, Smith says she can't help but worry. As a business owner, I'm terrified. Like many business owners, Smith was not prepared to partially shut down under state COVID-19 orders. She says if it wasn't for loyal customers and savings, she would not have survived. And the possibility of another shutdown haunts her. Just Monday, coronavirus cases in Ohio spiked with 737 new cases reported in Ohio in just 24 hours. And on Wednesday, only two days later, a daily increase of more than a thousand new cases. It's a great responsibility to be a bar owner in the first place. Um, it's even greater to do it during a pandemic when people's health and safety is at risk. While currently there aren't any plans to reverse the state's staggered reopening, Smith says any disruptions could cost her her business as she works to get back on track. I do think that's going to be a long road for us and I'm sure a lot of other restaurant and bar owners. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. During a press conference Monday, Governor DeWine said he'd have more information Thursday on whether more restrictions or another possible shutdown could be put in place. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.